Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how you can create any layout you like for your single posts using Gutenberg and a full site editing theme. And this is going to give you a glimpse of the amazing power of full site editing. So I'm going to take you step by step through it. I'm going to show you how to build your own custom layouts. I'm going to show you how to restore layouts if you don't like them and you want to restore them back to the default theme layout. I'm also going to show you how you can export your layout so you can use them on other websites. And I'm also going to explain dynamic blocks and why they're so important to this whole process. So let's dive into it. Right, first thing to say is you're going to need a copy of the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin, which is freely available from WordPress.org. So install that. Here it is. And you are also going to need a full site editing theme. There's not many around at the moment, but I've just got um, three here to show you, which are really good. Tuva. Uh, so these are all freely available from WordPress.org. Tuva is a great one. Uh, Clove is another great one. Here it is. I'll put these links as well in the description for you. And also this one here, TT1 Blocks by WordPress.org is another free one. So you need to install the plugin and then use one of those themes. For this demo, I've created quite an extreme uh, single post layout, which I've customized myself. So this is what I've done. So I've created this enormous post title up here, which I've decided to put above the featured image. This featured image is being pulled dynamically from my post content. And then down here, I've just got my normal post content, again, built using Gutenberg. And then down here, I've just turned off comments. I've also hidden things like meta information, uh, which is the, your published date and stuff like that, because I just wanted this nice and clean. So I'm going to show you how I created this. And by going through that process, you'll learn how to create your own custom single post layouts as well. Right, let's get into editing the single post template so we can create a custom layout for our posts. And when you install the full site editing theme and the Gutenberg plugin, you'll see a brand new menu in your dashboard that says site editor. That's where the magic happens. So let's click on that. And if you need a fuller tutorial on the full site editor, then I'll put a link in the description below because I've just done one, but that's going to load in the full site editor. And then we just need to click on the WordPress logo in the top left. Okay. And we're after this option here, single post that lets us edit and customize the single post layout for all our posts. Okay. And it's all built using the Gutenberg block editor. And here it is doesn't look very exciting at the moment, but these are all dynamic blocks. These are pulling in content automatically from my post content. I'll just flip back. This is the post I've got. It's not particularly exciting. We've got a post title and some content. Can you see there? Let me go on the list view, which is these three lines. And I'll just close up header and I'll close up footer. And we can actually see now the, the kind of hierarchy of how this has been built. So we've got a post title, which is this option here. Then we've got a spacer block. Uh, and then we've got a group block and within that group we've got the post content which is this one here um, and then we've got another group block with the spacer with the columns with our meta information so that's kind of what we've got I'm going to show you next how you can change and edit it really the key to understanding how you build these templates is understanding the concept of dynamic blocks dynamic blocks let you pull content in automatically from your original post content. And hopefully we have a whole bunch of them that come now with full site editing, which I just baked into WordPress now. This is why it's so incredibly powerful. They're listed under theme here. Now, some of these are to do with your archive pages, not your single post page. So I'm not gonna concentrate on those today. Th those are for another video, but just a few to pick out. So you've got your post title. It's gonna pull in your post title, your post content, obviously your post content, and you've got your post date, post uh, except we don't need for this. Uh, post featured image, we're going to add. Um, then we've got login, log out. We don't need that for this. Nor navigation, that's your header. Template parts are things like headers and footers, so we don't need that for that. But we do. We, we might need post author if you want to display the author of the post. Uh, post comments is also here. Uh, post comment count. So you can, hopefully you get the idea. This is pulling in information dynamically generated into your posts. Here's a prediction. There is going to be a boom of people building really cool dynamic blocks for WordPress that do things we can't even imagine yet that you can pull into your posts. I'll, I'll tell you one that's needed um, a bit later on. But that's the principle of dynamic, dynamic blocks. They're baked into WordPress, so they're now part of WordPress. So WordPress is now a block-based system. Right, let's move on to now to actually editing the template. I have simplified my single post template just to make it easier to show you and explain what's going on. So you'll see on the left here in the list view, all I've got in my post template is a spacer, post title, another spacer, and then your po my post content. And this is the actual post that we're, it's currently producing. So if I go to any of my posts now, they are inheriting this layout. 
we're going to make some changes though. So under the post title, I'm actually going to add a featured image. Now I can either do it by clicking the little plus here or I can hit the normal plus sign, scroll down to my theme blocks and find the post title and just drag it across. It's not the post title, sorry, the featured image, which is that one there and drag it across. That brings in the placeholder, won't bring in the natural image. And then with this one, what I want to do is just select it. Let's just see so we can see here it's selected. And with that, in fact, let me just save that for now and then go back here. And we should see now our nice featured image looking pretty cool. Uh, the other thing I want to do on this one is just make a few changes. So this title, this post title, I'm going to change the font size of it over here on the right. Each block can be customized. This one I'm going to make huge. Uh, in fact, let's make it bigger. Let's go to 100. Let's make it really big. And I'm also going to change the, the font to monospace, which is kind of funky. This is the placeholder for my content but I could add any of my theme blocks under here if I wanted to. Uh, let's just go down to theme here and you'll see I could add any of these blocks in if I wanted to, so the post date excerpt, or indeed I could add the comments. So let's do that next. Let's add the comments uh, form underneath here so people can now post comments, save it, go back to my um, site, and there we go. There's my enormous post title with the new uh, text in it. Under here, I've got my normal post content. Uh, and then further on down here, I should have my comments box. box. So, and But that applies to all my posts now. Uh, let me just try a couple of other things. You can also do things like add these crazy overlays. So let's add a crazy overlay to my featured image. This is the featured image block. Click on the list view just so we can see that. And save it. And you'll see now that that has that crazy <laughs> Not a massive fan of it, but you can you get the idea that that is actually being applied to all my posts. So if I go to any of my posts now, they will all inherit this new single post layout that I've just created. There we go. There's the featured image being pulled in automatically and the comments box underneath. If you didn't want the comments box to appear, you could just delete it. But we are now just using Gutenberg to create our post layout. So it's like incredibly, incredibly, incredibly powerful. And we're right at the start of um, you know what's possible. Some blocks that I think are missing from this is I would love I would love the ability to add a cover block that also pulled in your post title automatically uh, within it. And when I say I can do that at the moment, what I can't do is pull in the featured image dynamically and set that as the background to that cover block. That would be really awesome. Uh, but there we go. That's how you can edit your single post templates. Here's a couple of other things to consider. So next up, I just want to quickly show you how you can restore your templates back to the original default theme template. Uh, so here's my template, and I've actually just put the featured image above my post title, which kind of looks cool, right? Um, but my customer doesn't like it, and they prefer the original layout. So there's an easy way to restore these. You just go to the theme, the full site editor, go to your template as we have. This is the one here. Uh, you click on, can you see at the top here where it says single post? Click on that. And you'll see this option here, which is super useful, which is clear customizations. Click on that. And that restores the template back to the original themes default. One of the really, really, really profound changes that full site editing is, come, is bringing to WordPress is this ability to share layouts between websites. We're already seeing this with block patterns. But now we're seeing it with templates, like the single post template, but also everything within your theme now is a block, so it can be shared much more readily. Let me show you how this potentially can work already. So if I go to appearance here and go to templates, that's going to show me all the templates that I've customized. And you'll see there's my single post template. So what I can do here, now currently this is this is the template I've created on this URL 18tags.com, and that's going to load in the template that I've built. Okay, all the blocks that I need. But what I can do now is copy that onto another website, which is really, really cool. So to do that, I'm going to click on the three dots up here, go to the code editor view. And this essentially is showing me the uh, code editor, the code view of what Gutenberg is doing under the bonnet. So I'm just going to copy all that. Now I have another website where this is currently what the po that single post layout looks like. And this is the single post layout. 
And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to be very destructive. I'm going to delete everything within it. So basically the header, the footer, everything within this layout is going and I'm just going to be left with a paragraph block and I'm just going to paste in that layout that I copied from that other website. So it's going from one website to a completely another website, but it should be the same custom post layout. There we go, and there we go, how cool is that? So you can see how easy it is to copy um, you know, these layouts, these these layouts from one website to another website. So it's, it's incredibly profound change that's gonna have all sorts of implications, which I'm gonna be exploring um, in a future video, not so long from now, because this is, this is going to be massively disruptive and um, interesting to the WordPress theme system and to the WordPress page builder system, for sure. Just one final point before I finish up, and that is I got a comment from a customer last week saying how this is so dangerous for their customers to get hold of. And of course, your customers, if you want to lock them out from this stuff, you can. This will only be an admin experience where you have this full site editing functionality. So there we go. There's a look at how you can customize the single post layout using Gutenberg and full site editing. I think it's incredibly exciting. If you enjoyed this video, if you can give it a thumbs up, I will love you forever. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you very soon.